Hey y'all, I figured as long as we got the Martin out and uh, it's in standard tuning, we might as well run through another lesson. And this one is uh, Blackbird from the White Owl. And most of the time when I'm doing acoustic ones that are finger picked, I don't, I tell you, I, I can't explain how to play the picking part. But this one I kind of can because it's simple. Because <laughs> it's, it's Paul and his usual uh, finger picked, which is sort of half picking, half strumming method. Um, so let's let's get into it. Uh, it starts with this thing. It's in G and standard tuning, standard pitch. Although I think the Crosby, Stills, Nash version, I think he did an open G or some kind of open tuning. I'm, I'm not really a fan of their version, but uh, this one's in standard tuning because Paul rarely, if ever, ever uses anything but that. So it goes with this thing to start it off. And uh, even though there are a bunch of chord shapes through the song, it, it is kind of circular and they repeat over and over. So once you get the pattern, you're okay. So it starts in this. Start with a, a G, and you'll wanna, I guess you could if you play it like that. You could do it that way, but I'm gonna do it this way. Cause it just lends itself to, to where your actual fretting goes. So you start in G and for this one, you pick the low E string with that cover the third fret and the open B string. The next one is open A string and when you're doing the you know your your whatever finger your middle finger your pointer finger or even one of those I guess you could do with your pinky <laughs> but uh, when you're doing that since these are all G uh, it, it's sort of a droney G chord uh, riff when you're picking on, strumming up on those or picking up on those, you can hit the open D and G strings in the middle and get sloppy with it because um, that that kind of uh, is part of the, the the picking of it. Especially that open G string, you'll hear that throughout the song really. First fret on the B string, open A string, and that's B string at the third, A string at the second. So you got. And it kind of has a, a Baby I Love Your Way feel to it, which is the same idea with those two middle strings ringing open all the time. And then you do actually slide from those two, second fret on A, third fret on B, up to here, which is B at 12 and A at 10. Hold on to that chord and just practice this. Practice that for a couple minutes and get that down because that's the rhythm of it. Two of those. Okay, so that's A string third. B string fifth. So this, the A string just goes. Right? So now it switches to A string fourth and E string third with the B string open. All those other chords so far have all been on the B string. This one goes B string. Right? A string fourth, B string third. And that's the same thing as that first one. Now it's up to. So it's that, that, that. A string five, B string seven. So this is a repeating sort of figure. Move it up two frets. Just doing exactly the same thing, two frets up. Now it's E string five, A string six. The next one is. A string seven, B string eight. Right after you do that one, move your index, the A string down one. So now that's A string six, B string, what is that, eight? 
Yeah. Right? So now it's move it all down, both fingers down one fret. So that's A string five and B string seven. Now you're back to that other chord again, which is A string four, high E string three. Now you're back to A string three, B string five. Now B string goes down from five to four. This one stays where it is. A string stays where it is at the third. Now that whole thing slides down a fret. So now you're at A string second, B string third. Now it's open A string and B string second. B string first, D string open, D string open. Okay, of course he's doing. But that's how it ends. And then it repeats that, I think. Now it's back to this end. Back to the beginning. chorus part. Right, so that's this. Um, that's A string at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and B string at 10. Okay, the second one, I gotta do it. I'm learning it just like you right now. So <laughs> this one is 8 and 10 on the B. Then uh, 7 on A. 8 on B. Wait. Yeah, that whole thing goes down too. The third one climbing down is A at 5, B at 6. The next one down is A at 3, B at 5. Move that whole thing down too. So now you're in the first fret on the A, third fret on the B, and then slide up. Now you know where we're going with this again because it loops around again. Open A and B second. Open D, B first. At least on this one, you don't have to mess around with uh, the, the high E string. It's just these are all, all this whole descending part with the chorus is all on the A string and the B string. And then the only, all the other different part is, is when it goes. Where the bird whistles start in the middle part. He's just holding it. that first chord, the G, again. So instead of doing, so you do. Third fret, fifth fret. So, second fret, third fret. Open A, second fret B, open D string, first fret B. Back to the beginning again. So you'll, you'll hear that on virtually every chord, I think. The B, the, the G string is open and just humming throughout the whole thing. And most of the time the D string too, I think. 
But uh, if you get with the upstrokes of whichever finger you're using, you want to hit two or three strings with each of those. Or whether you're playing the high E string, you want to hit that B and G with it. Or if you're playing the B string, you want to hit the D and the, the G and the D with it. So you can get a little bit, as uh, Paul tends to do, a little imprecise with your uh, picking hand. Good luck with that one and send me a note, but I think if you listen to it a few times, you shouldn't have too much trouble with it because it's, uh, uh, it, it repeats over and over again. And there's only that one little part in the middle that's any different. Good luck.